All right, ladies. So today's video, we are going to clean <laughs> where I get ready. Well, kind of, I actually get ready over here. I stand up when I get ready. Are you the kind of people, do you have to stand up or sit down? I know Jacob's fiance, she sits when she gets ready in front of me. I can't do that. Like, I'm weird. I have to be standing up. I don't know what made me think of that. But anyways, we are going to go over, I guess I could show you some of the stuff, my everyday products and... Yeah. Also, I tr okay, so super random. I try to use a curling iron. I normally, if I ever curl my hair, it's with a wand. It's a clipless wand. I cannot use a clip like with a curling iron. I struggle and I have a crease. I don't, I need help <laughs> because I want to learn how to curl my hair without that crease with a curling iron. I have a really nice one I got a couple years ago and I just can't figure it out. And I burnt my pinky really bad. We're gonna paint my nails, so we're gonna paint them today on camera too. Also, the Northern Lights were, um, everybody around us saw them last night and I missed it. So I'm hoping today, by the time you're seeing this, it's actually day after Brian's birthday. Um, we did not film. I should have filmed his setup. I'll put a couple pictures in here. Um. Yeah, I didn't put them on Instagram yet. So yeah, um, I'll put a couple pictures at the end of just how I decorated. We went out to dinner. Um, Brian's really low-key. Like, he doesn't like to do anything too crazy. So we went to Texas Roadhouse. Phenomenal, great food. And yeah, um, so we're going to clean this desk up because it needs it desperately. But also, let me tell you one of my favorites. Oh, this feels good on my pinky. This Cosmic Stardust by Alani New. Alani is very quickly becoming my favorite energy drink. I do love the Zero Sugar Monsters, but these I'm obsessed with. And yes, I am highly on the hunt for the pink slush uh, Alani um, with the Parasol and Collab. So yeah, I guess we can kind of go over some of my stuff that I use every day. I am on the hunt for a really good foundation. I have oily skin. Um, so I've been buying a couple new ones. Let me show you what I've bought recently. Um, this, oops. Okay. So I bought this one recently. Uh, a lot of people rave about it. Still need to give it a fair judge. It's okay. It's not horrible. To me, it is super runny and I like a thicker consistency with foundation. Um, I feel like in order for this to be really full coverage, I'd have to build it a lot. And I don't like a ton of makeup sitting on my face because it feels heavy. So this one's it's okay. It's not my all-time favorite, though. And I keep dropping everything. Another one that I recently bought was this. Actually, these two, um, I got... I'm pr normally fairly decent at matching my shades. Uh, this one right here is more my skin tone. This one has a little bit of a... I don't know, like it's it's not perfect for my skin. So actually, I just mix these. I actually like to mix my foundations. And these two together like make the best. It is like a dead on like match with my skin. Now I will say this Rimmel, I haven't seen too many people talk about it. It's not bad. Um, I think I do need a better match if I were was to wear it by itself. But it's very fragranced. And I'm not a huge fan of of fragranced foundations um this one right here like i said i have i am 31 so i'm not going to say i have mature skin but i do have pores and everything that fine that set into fine lines so i know there's not going to be like a miracle worker it's pretty much all about skin prep is what i'm picking up but um yeah like i said i'm on the hunt for a really good foundation and honestly i'm thinking about splurging there's certain areas with makeup that I will splurge on and others I won't. And I think foundation, to me personally, is one of the biggest things that I would splurge on. So I am tempted to buy a more higher-end foundation. But these are just some of the drugstore I've been trying. I've used this forever now. It's not horrible. It's not the best. But it is extremely affordable. So if you're, like, balling on a budget, this is really good. And they have a lot of different ranges for, like, skin tone. So I do like that. This right here... um. I will repurchase this. It's a Conceal and Perfect. Uh, it is a little too dark, so I did get too dark of a shade, but I just mix it with this one right here, and it's pr it's pretty good. Um, it actually may be a little bit darker, but I love this stuff. It is thick. Um, it sits on the skin really nicely, so I don't know. I would repurchase it. It is uh, definitely full coverage, so yeah. This one, I don't really have too much to say. It's okay. It's not bad. I think I've wore this before. Um, 
like I said, I mix it with this. I definitely, yeah, like I said, all these foundations are fairly decent. Um, a lot of them I don't wear just by themselves. I mix them just for a fuller coverage. And yeah, so for the most part, they work really well. I could tell definitely by the end of the day at work, um, it starts to break up a little bit. I'm a little bit more oily. So like I said, I know nothing's going to be like a complete miracle worker, but yep. I was using for powder. I was using the Laura Mercier, which I'm pretty much out of. This is a higher end um, powder. Again, I'm not a professional, so I don't know if it's really worth it to splurge on powders. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, I've used this one. It's okay. Um, another powder I was using was this hard candy one. I actually hit pan on it. Again, it's, it's okay. It's nothing crazy. Uh, this one right here, I think this is like a revolution loose setting powder. This is a little too dark for me and it leaves like, yeah, it's not my favorite. I don't like, I do not like packaging like this. It's bulky. I'd rather have something like that. But this one right here, nothing, can't really say too much on it. I've used a lot of it up, but it's not my favorite. One that I recently started using that I've had for years now is the Cody Airspun. I do not like the smell of it. Kind of smells like like an older grandma, <laughs> but if you're not, like, if scents don't bother you, then this is, I, I like this, is what I'm getting at. I have started using this, and it, it actually is really good, and I will continue to use it, and it's very affordable. You can get it at the drugstore. So, yep, that's some of my favorites. Um, What else? I've been using those for my hair a lot. Oh, I had this. I've had this for a while now. It's probably even expired. I used it. Um, a girl I used to work with at my old job used it, and it looked phenomenal on her skin. But for me, it is not, like, a huge favorite. It's okay. Um, I think this would be perfect for, perfect for, like, Carol Ann, so I think I'm just going to give this to her. Um... Yeah, and what else? Oh, I do have these. Uh, they're the Bare Minerals. Um, I think these are like powder foundations, which I like a more fuller coverage, but I just put this over top of my foundation. I mix it up from time to time. Brian's mom usually gets me these for Christmas every year. That's why I have so many, but actually I need to go through them because some of these are like empty or pretty much empty. Let's see, and then I have this one right here. Which again, like I said, I think it's empty. So I need to go through. But we need to clean this up. This is, oh my gosh. I've had this for, I don't even know if they make this anymore. But if I have like a stubborn pimple um, and I need to cover it up, this is what I use. You can get this at Target. Again, I don't even think they sell this anymore. This is like OG YouTube. Tried and true mascara. I've talked about this a trillion times. I will never go without this. This is the best mascara in the whole wide world. And lately I've just been using this CoverGirl. Is it? I don't know. I've been using this forever now. Um, I've been putting that over top. I like to layer my mascaras. That's like my favorite with makeup. This, um, not too bad. I do like it. Everybody raves about this. The L'Oreal, I think it's telescopic. This is really good. I would repurchase that. Blushes, I am on the hunt for like a newer one. I did use this Wet n Wild one. Um, a lot of these I've had for like ever, ever. <laughs> and it has glitter in it, which I'm not a fan of in blush. I don't like it. If I want glitter, I'm going to put a highlight on. And then this Wet n Wild I've had forever. Don't even look at the package. It's disgusting. But this is like, um, I don't even know what shade you really call it. I do like this. I've had this for years. Little goes a long way. So, yep. I'm definitely in the hunt for some new makeup, though. Can you see all my beauty blenders? But do you guys clean those or do you just throw, do you throw them away? I'm not going to lie. I do usually just throw them away. I need to clean some of my makeup brushes. They're disgusting. But we're going to keep this real, guys. So, we're going to put all the hair stuff up. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you the after. So be this is my before. Okay, so not like a huge improvement. Well, actually, there's a huge improvement. So everything is put up the way it should be. There's that. And then there's my Tasha necklace. I wear this every single day. Got this on Etsy, and it hasn't tarnished at all. Focus. There you go. See, isn't that so cute? 
and it's got a little heart right there. I wear it every single day. And then if we come over here, this is just um, the body sprays I've been using a lot lately. This is so good. I'm um, sorry, my battery's about today. So good, love. And then just basic stuff, really. It looks cluttered and messy, but it's a vast improvement, if I must say so myself. So, yeah. Well, it's Mother's Day. We're going to my mom's. I got her these. This is from a lady who lives local to us. And I think this is like a honey butter. That's a frosted animal. Brian's giving me a, fro a, co a coffee. <laughs> that is banana pudding. We have peanut butter s'more, fruity pebble, and cherry cheesecake. And then I got her something else. But this is what I got her for. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys onto something. I am not a coffee drinker. Never have been. Just not my thing. I'm telling you, this stuff right here, Cinnamon Churro um, by International Delight, oh my god, it's so good, and if you add a little bit, I needed a little bit of creamer, and this is so out of my realm because I don't do coffee, you put this on it, and then we put a little bit of chocolate syrup, and mm, chef's kiss, and I feel like this would be even better blended up, oh my gosh, it's so good. And I'm obsessed. The only place I've seen this at is it's kind of like a Kroger, really. It's it's Meyer. It's I know Michigan, some Ohio's have it, but found this at Meyer, and it is so good. And after I get off work tomorrow, I will be going back and picking up some more because we've almost drank it all. It's so good though. And like I said, I'm not a coffee person, so if you're not, maybe this is you. I do love anything churro, so. Yep, really good. It's good by itself, but I feel like this just really, really amps it up. And I did paint my nails. Gives me, like, watermelon vibes. We're going out to dinner for Mother's Day. We are going to La Fiesta. I probably won't film that, but maybe I'll show you the food we get. I might do that. And I'm going to go do my makeup right now. And I burnt my neck on my freaking straightener. Yeah. Oh, here's something, too. Let me show you this, too. These right here, um, Brian and I love anything s'mores flavored. And we bought these. They're the... Oh, well, I dropped them on the floor. Hold on. Don't worry. We still got the lid on them. Okay, but we got these at Target the other day. And they're mini s'mores bites. But, guys, these are really good. So, if you love s'mores, go get you this, too. I swear. I so just good. did my makeup. If you guys want to know what foundation I'm wearing, um, don't mind my hair. I just have it kind of put up um foundations i have three i wore this one this one mix that and for a little bit of color i use the maybelline this one a little bit of that and camera may come up a little orange also the lighting in my room right now is like crappy but yep we're getting ready to go out to eat um i have to get dressed so i got my pajamas on um brian is actually going to his mom's we're kind of we're kind of gonna divide and conquer today for mother's day his mom really wants to grill out and my family that doesn't really go out to eat in that too much so i take this opportunity and run with it when we do go and my dad's feeling pretty good today so Yep, we're going to go. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the food when we get there. I showed you some of the cookies. Um, there, She is a lady. She's local. If you guys want her information, I can put it down below. But um, she does cookies around like where we live. She does all kinds of treats. And honestly, I think they're better than crumble. But, I mean, she does like a lot of cool different flavors like crumble does. And super reasonably priced. But I think they taste better. Uh, crumbles, I think, is a little too thick, and I don't think they're done. They're cooked all the way. And, uh, you're either a person that loves that or doesn't, and I am one of those people that does not like that. So, yeah, I'm going to fix my hair, throw something on, and probably get ready to leave. So, yeah, talk to you later. These are the shoes for today. Look at them. I've never worn these yet. Um, I will say, I think the, they're Kate Spade. Um... They are very hard to almost tie. The glitter is so pretty, but not the most practical pair of shoes, but yet they are Kate Spade. Love them. So pretty.